Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to be setting up uh, an adapter that I got for my existing uh, dust collector system. I hear reports that these are supposed to be very efficient so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. And there it is. It's, this is the metal one uh, and it's good for one to three horsepower and my little collector is about a horse and a half. What I'm going to use for a base for this instead of the plastic bags that I've been using uh, I wanted to use garbage cans and I've actually got three of these that are exactly the same so I think the first thing I'm going to need to do is to cut some circles so that I can put that on that and cut that out so I think the first thing we'll do is bring the bandsaw in and cut some circles so that I can fit this in Okay, there's both of those pieces that I just cut. Yeah, that's perfect. That fits on there nicely. Now they're saying to apply some of this gasket material around the inside of this hole so that's what this foam is for Well, the good thing with doing this little project, you'll all get to learn from my mistakes and my trial and error. Uh, it turns out that this was too wide to go around. It was making all sorts of wrinkles, and of course, that's not going to be um, very airproof. So, what I had to have to go out again, I had to go back down to the hardware store, and I got some very thin strips, and I made three passes, and I'll show you. If you look very closely you probably can't see that but there's actually three layers there so that there's no joints in there as well so that worked out very well now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to be fastening this metal some of these metal connectors on here and what I'm going to be using for that is this metal tape typically it's used for duct work uh, but it's a really sticky and it holds very well and what it will do it will seal around all of the joints that I have here so I'm going to go ahead and do that Well, the next thing I need to do before I start hooking up all the hoses, and I'm getting anxious to do that, but I need to figure out how to hold this down onto this uh, plastic garbage can and keep it nice and firm. And what I decided, I couldn't come up with clamping device that I liked, so you know what, I'm just going to use some, for now, I'm just going to use some little bar clamps. But I want to put some wood, some, I want to support this under here because this is just a plastic lip. So I'm going to figure out some way of putting some little um, pieces of wood in there uh, that I can clamp that down. It'll give a nice solid clamping. Well, that worked out well. I just cut them a little on the large size and you can see how they fit in there. And when I put them in, they actually just kind of stick in there. So that's perfect. A couple on this side and we're ready to flip it over and put the cyclone top on and you can see how those little pieces of wood are sticking down like that really easy to put these clamps on now I'm not going to put them on too tight I may have to tighten them up later but we'll see how it is 
Okay, I finally got that hose. That was a struggle getting that hose on there. And you know what? I've got the wrong clamps on there. You're supposed to use the wire clamps, but the one that I had uh, broke and they didn't have any other kinds of clamps at the store. So I've had to get these hose clamps here. So next thing we need to do is connect this to the uh, input of the dust collector. Now I also had to go out and buy a special 10 foot length of hose for this. That's the way that should go on there, just slide on like that. Now I hope this one isn't going to be a struggle. Well, that was another tough struggle getting that on. In fact, I think I may end up taking that off and putting it back on at some point because uh, it's just um, at the top of that. But what I want to do right now, since we've got all this work, I want to do a just a dry run and see if this um, is going to hold air and not going to leak. Good suction coming from there. Well, my garbage can is empty here, and I've taken what dust I had in my dust collector because I just emptied the bag not long ago. So I've emptied it out, and uh, I'm going to see how well it sucks the dirt up. And there's almost nothing left in the bag of the dust collector. So let's do the test now and see how well this is going to work. What I want to see, first of all, what there is left in the bag here, or what there is in the bag, and it's, you can tell there's nothing, there's really nothing left in there, it's just, it's just bag. So let's take the top off here and have a look and see how well this performed. Well, and there it is. There's the dust that we just collected up. So it does work well. Now the next thing I need to know is how much dust is in here. Look at the idea I have in mind for this. So here's the little rod that I have and on the bottom here I'm going to put a little disc. Uh, I think I'll use plexiglass. You could use plywood uh, but I have plexiglass so I think I'll use that. This is just a washer from um, some kind of a tap. I have some spare ones of these and it's a little tough moving it up and down which means it's going to be a good seal and then I just have a, a T-nut in the top that didn't have any, any little uh, teeth on it so I'll just use that as the handle for now. Um, and then uh, now I'm going to put a little bottom on this so uh, let's have a look at that. So I just got finished sawing a little bit of plexiglass that I had with my hole saw. Now the next thing I need to do is mount this in the, on the deck here. Uh, so what I'm going to use is a Forstner bit and I'm just going to put a very shallow hole there. Just enough to trap that washer. Now, that should just go right through. <laughs> there, and that traps the washer. Now, I'll just put a little piece of wood on top of that, and that'll stop that from coming out of there, and hold that on there as well. Well, I just decided to use the same hole saw to make the top for this. That should fit on there. Okay, now I just need to put that little bottom on, and this is all ready to go. Uh, 
All right. There we go. A new cyclone dust collector. All ready to go to work. That concludes my video. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, and I'm honestly, I'm working on the Instagram thing, so bear with me on that one. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.